Hello everyone, hope you're all having a lovely day today. Today's video is going to be about feelings or lack thereof, all the feels, you get the point. So one of the questions or things that I think a lot of people struggle with, I know I definitely have kind of the idea of like, well, I don't feel saved or I don't feel like a Christian. However, we're not to base our salvation on our feelings because our salvation is not based on our feelings. Feelings are fleeting. Our feelings can change as quickly as they came. You know, just one situation might alter your feeling from being extremely depressed to extremely uplifting or extremely sad to extremely happy. If we base our salvational security on our feelings, we're always going to be left disappointed. You know, being a Christian doesn't exempt you from experiencing real emotions. We're still human. We still experience things like depression, pain, anxiety. If you think being a Christian is just going to be a constant bliss all the time, you know, read the Psalms. One of the reasons why I love the Psalms so much is because they're very human. And this isn't to discourage you or make you think that like being a Christian is going to be super tough all the time or it's just a bunch of depression, but rather it's supposed to give you comfort and understanding that other people who were big figures in the Bible experienced, you know, pain, heartbreak, depression as well. In regards to, sorry, that's my dog. I love him to death, but he's so, he's the kind of dog that will bark at like a huge dog from behind a fence. But then the minute that that fence is gone, they will just, like he will just cower and run the other way. I'm just gonna keep trying to go through despite that. <laughs> if we look at ourselves to like look at if we're saved or like if we try to keep looking at ourselves to see if we're saved, we're always going to be disappointed and we're always going to be feeling like we're coming up short because we always come up short. If you want salvational security, just keep looking at Jesus. The only thing that saved you or that made you holy, righteous, etc., was what Jesus did. That should give you the most security like ever. As I've said before in Hebrews 12, if we look at Hebrews, specifically Hebrews 12 too, it says, looking unto Jesus, I'm reading to the side, sorry. <laughs> looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. Jesus is the author and finisher of our faith. That's incredible. It's not in our own hands, it's in his. If you're someone who is feeling like you're not saved or etc., I highly advise you to kind of look at the situation you're dealing with. Jesus said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. And he promised that. Even if you feel like God is far away, he says that he's not. He said he would never leave you nor forsake you, so believe him. He didn't say, you're going to feel like I'm always with you. He said he is always with you. Do I think we should never trust our feelings ever? Not necessarily, but we can't put our entire security or hinge everything on our feelings. Even if we might feel like God is far away, he's not. Despite what you feel, keep going to God. Look, I understand it's tough. You know, when you constantly have like feelings in your brain that are like, oh, maybe you're not saved or maybe you're not really Christian or this and that and etc. It's very hard to ignore that. I acknowledge that. However, instead of obsessing over how we feel, we should address how we feel. We should never let our feelings dictate our actions but at the same time, we shouldn't ignore them. It's important to address, not obsess, acknowledge, not ignore, and move on and not get stuck. As usual, I hope this helps whoever needed to hear this. If you ever have any questions at all ever, totally feel free to leave a comment below. I will answer any questions anyone has, and I hope you have a lovely rest of your day. God bless.